welcome to a great day for downtown Rochester. Uh, I'm Joe Stefko, president of Rock 2025, the Regional Economic Development Alliance that is accelerating growth here in Greater Rochester and the Finger Lakes region through our partner organizations that include the Greater Rochester Chamber of Commerce, Greater Rochester Enterprise, the Rochester Downtown Development Corporation and Visit Rochester, as well as all of our partners in government at the state, the county, and the city. Through Rock 2025, we are making a series of significant and coordinated capacity building investments to strengthen our economic growth ecosystem in this region in areas like talent strategy, business growth and attraction, regional marketing, and downtown innovation and redevelopment, which is what brings us together today. Before we begin, please join me in welcoming some, uh, some distinguished guests that are here with us, making her first visit to Rochester as the 57th governor of the state of New York, Governor Kathy Hochul. Great to have you here. We'll hear from Governor Hochul in a moment. Uh, we'll also hear from Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren and Monroe County Executive Adam Bello. Thank you for being here today. Uh, we'll also hear from Constellation Brands President and CEO Bill Newlands. Thank you, Bill. I'd also like to uh, welcome some members of Constellation's executive management team who are with us today, Jim Bordeaux, Garth Hankinson, Mike McGrew, Nikki Wodolewicz, uh, Matt Stanton, and Amy Martin. Thank you for being here today. Uh, of course, our hosts today, Aqueduct Building owners and developers Peter Landers and Jim Costanza. Thank you. I'd like to welcome New York State Assembly members Harry Bronson, Damon Meeks, and Sarah Clark. Thank you for being here. Rochester City Council members Willie Lightfoot, Michael Patterson, and Presumptive Mayor Malik Evans. Welcome to all of you. I'm also pleased to welcome representatives from the offices of Senator Chuck Schumer, Congressman Joe Morelli, Senator Jeremy Cooney, Senator Samra Brook, and Assemblymember Jen Lunsford. And of course, a special welcome to uh, the Finger Lakes Regional Economic Development Council co-chair and former Lieutenant Governor Bob Duffy of the Greater Rochester Chamber. We are, we are so, so pleased to have all of you with us today. And with that, it is my great pleasure to introduce a longtime advocate, partner, and friend, and champion of Greater Rochester, the 57th governor of the state of New York, Governor Kathy Hochul. Governor? Great to be home, my friends. Great to be back home. God, I love Western New York. Uh, so magnificent to be with all of you on this day, and it's, you cannot understate the significance. I believe that people are going to look back on this day with this announcement and say, yes, this was the day we realized that the comeback of Rochester is real. It's happening in buildings like this. <laughs> and this community was built by audacious believers people who started companies centuries ago, a century ago, uh, who just had this faith that there was so much potential in this region, and they started great companies that were the legacy businesses, and we all know their names, and some are not with us anymore, and some are not what they used to be. But on their shoulders, uh, we have today's audacious dreamers, and I'm talking about the economic development team we have here in Rochester, in this community, also, the people at Constellation Brands who see a possibility and an opportunity here to be part of redefining the future of this spectacular community. So to Joe Stefko, I want to thank you for all that you do with Rock 2025. Uh, I feel like Rock 2025 is already Rock 2021. It's like really already rocking it today. But uh, I know we have more great things to come. So thank you for everything you've done. 
And um, the, the, the elected leaders that I've had such a close relationship, our county executive, Adam Ballow, uh, we've been through a lot together and uh, your leadership, especially during this pandemic, was so necessary, uh, so critical to literally saving lives. Let's give our county executive a great round of applause. And our mayor, lovely Warren, and I have uh, gone through so much and worked so hard, especially fighting gun violence in this city. And I thank you for your efforts and bringing back communities that have been forgotten for so long, and we did a lot of projects together. So uh, to our mayor, lovely Warren, thank you for your leadership in this community as well. I know we have Councilmember Malik Evans here. We'll have a lot of challenges ahead, but we'll certainly be able to meet them well, as well as our council members who are here. We're looking forward to those relationships. And also uh, members of the assembly who've joined us. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, Clark, Bronson, and Meeks have joined us, and I thank them for not just what they do here, but how they have that fighting spirit on behalf of the Finger Lakes region when they're in our state capital as well. And Bill Newlands, who I'll be introducing in a couple of minutes. Uh, did the announcement already get out? <laughs> Because uh, I thought I was going to big this big surprise here, but uh, I do read the local papers uh, and I see the local news, so I know it's already out. But uh, something like this was just too incredible to keep quiet very long. And I had a chance to talk to uh, Rob Sands and others that have worked hard to make this happen, just to thank them. And that's what I do in the state of New York. I never take for granted any business that's here. I know a lot of companies could go elsewhere and we're always competing with other states and other nations to take our very best. But a company like Constellation that's been here for over 75 years, and yes, they've expanded, they've grown so much, and they've just created a, an international brand that we're so proud that they've called this area home. But to know that that is going to continue for generations in a building that Vinny Esposito says it's the coolest building in downtown Rochester. <laughs> so, uh, so once Vinny declares something cool, it has to happen is what I've, what I've learned as well. And thank you for all your work on this, Vinny, on behalf of Empire State Development. It is a cool building. I love old buildings. I, I grew up around Lackawanna and Buffalo, and you know, we got the same era. It's the late 1800s, and people were building. And this is even after they had the courage and the crazy idea to build this canal and to connect our great cities of upstate New York to this former village known as New York City that became a powerhouse because of communities like Rochester and Buffalo and the other canal communities. And to see this, the power of the Genesee River, just you can hear the sound of it and know how this was a reason we could have textiles and manufacturing here because of the power of the water. It's amazing that this company will come in this building built in the late 1800s by a former Secretary of State who decided that this region, this, this building, sh needed to be built in this space. And now all these decades, century later, uh, it's incredible to see what's going to happen here. When we bring over 340 people to work downtown, and then they have friends and their family, and everybody wants to hang out downtown, and you create this critical mass of a cool area, as Vinny would say. And it's, it's been a long time awaiting, long overdue, and finally that day has arrived to have one of the, the largest beverage companies in the world headquartered right here in downtown Rochester. Let's give that a round of applause. And we'll put a little money toward it too. Uh, we'll help you out here. We're gonna support this move with $4 million of Excelsior tax credits. And also we are committing an additional $5 million for Rock the Riverway, to, a grant to the city of Rochester for the initial construction phase of the Aqueduct Reimagined Project. And what we're doing is creating a down. <laughs> we're creating a down payment and creating a public space next door that is gonna be the centerpiece of Rock the Riverway. And I've seen this before. I've seen what happened at Canal Side in Buffalo, and I'm telling you, when we get these two synergies, the synergy between these two cities, and we finally achieve the full potential of these waterways and what it was given to us a century ago, and now we're making our mark on this. We're putting our signature projects right here, and this is gonna be continue to be spectacular. This building is gonna start construction, I believe in spring of 2022, finish in 2024, which is great. 
and also this reimagined aqueduct. We're going to remove the Broad Street Bridge to at the, its historic level, and this is going to be gorgeous. I just looked out the window, I saw what we're going to do, and it's going to have a wow factor that is going to go beyond, beyond, beyond our boundaries. And so this is the day you witness this. You witness the advent of a whole new chapter in the Finger Lakes, Rochester, but only truly New York State's future. And that future, my friends, is extraordinarily bright. And I thank our friends at Constellation for having the faith, the belief in us. And that is going to trigger a statement to other companies who are looking anywhere they can go to start a business. They're going to say, yes, it's a cool building. It's a cool company. It's a cool place to be. So thank you very much. I also want to give a lot of credit to uh, Bob Duffy. Uh, he has worked so hard on projects like these, and I know you'll be hearing from him in a couple minutes, but uh, Bob, thank you for your leadership of this community uh, as chief of police and as a mayor and as lieutenant governor, and now the important role you play in economic development, and I want to thank you for all you do. So my friends in Rochester, this is the day you're here to witness this, and I'm really fired up and excited. Congratulations. <laughs> Speaker is uh, Mayor Warren. No, 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 Bill, okay. Got to change my met my schedule here. Uh, Bill Newland, our CEO from Constellation, is going to tell us more about the project. Thank you. Bill. Thank you, Governor. It's always a benefit to have this come off. <clears throat> um, thank you, Governor, and I would reiterate what others have already said, which is we all appreciate all that you have done and all that you will do for the greater Rochester area. I think we are going to be there with you and with the community of Rochester for positive change and for progress. And I think, Joe, despite the fact that you said there have been 57 governors, there's only been one woman governor, so congratulations on that, Governor. This area is obviously very important to Constellation Brands, but it also has a lot of meaning for me personally. I grew up in Steuben County outside of Corning in a little town called Addison. My mom and dad were both school teachers, but we were sort of the last school in Section 5, and for those of you who have children, you know what Section 5 is all about. In fact, I had to look this up because in 19, my dad was the baseball coach, among other things, and in 1971, yours truly was the ball boy over here at Silver Field when we won the Class B Section 5 championship. So I go back a long way coming into Rochester. I was just a little shorter back then. Uh, obviously, going to our company, uh, Marvin Sands founded this organization in 1945 in an old sauerkraut factory on Canandaigua Lake. I doubt he had it in his view that this someday would turn into a Fortune 500 company with 9,000 employees around the world in Mexico, New Zealand, Italy, and of course, here in New York. But I'd say one of the things that helps make Constellation special is we have never forgot our roots. We continue to be part of the community where we have really started this whole thing over 75 years ago. Together with the Sands family, there has been a massive investment in this community in great things that help all who live in the community, in terms of jobs, in terms of things like supporting women in Dress for Success, in terms of the medical community, the arts and education. These are all things that have been critically important to the Sands family and to Constellation for many, many years. In fact, this past year, between these two groups, the Constellation uh, company and the Sands Family Foundation. We have donated over $1.6 million this past year alone. And, and, and we are also committed to do our part for Rochester 2025. We think it's critically important to attract great talent and to create great businesses and this is what we are really here to do today, is to be part of that announcement of what we're doing. And that really starts in many ways with our employees, and a number of them you've already been introduced to, and a number of them are here today. But our success really comes off the backbone of a great set of people. 
That's what most businesses really rely on, and we are no different. And we think the future in this aqueduct facility creates a great opportunity for us to not only take what we've done, but to build on that success for the future, to create a modernization program. Yes, it might be even hard to see that today, but a modernization program in a building that does date back to the 1880s. And when you put this together with the presence that we have in Ontario County in Canandaigua, we'll have over 500 jobs in the greater Rochester area, helping to build on the success of what this company has always been, which is to give back to the community while we are also doing good in business. So I'd like to say thanks to, to really a number of people. Mayor Warren, couldn't thank you enough for the support that you've done to make this a reality. Uh, it's been outstanding. Mr. Bello, the same for you. Uh, without the two of you, we never could have gotten here today, and we appreciate your hosting us today uh, as part of this outstanding event. Uh, we appreciate the developers and the work that's been done. They were introduced to you earlier. We appreciate the work that has been done and what will be done to make this facility world class and to help make sure that we are part of creating great vibrancy in the city of Rochester, New York for many, many years to come. So I thank you all very much. Mayor, if you would, I'm sure you have some thoughts. Thank you, Bill. Let's give him a big round of applause again. Good afternoon to you all. And first, I'd like to say welcome, Governor Kathy Hochul, to Rochester, New York. You have always, <laughs> you have always been a great friend to Rochester. And I know I often joke about how you need to just move here because you're always here, but I know that you're needed in Albany, and I'm so very, very proud to see you ascend to become the first female governor of the state of New York. <laughs> to our county executive and to our other elected leaders, uh, I am so excited to be here to witness the turning point in Rochester's history. I am beyond excited because today's announcement is transformative for our city. We stand here on the banks of the Genesee River, the foundation of which our city was founded. We stand at the tip of the Erie Canal Aqueduct, which carried our city's industries for generations. We stand within the eyes view of Mercury, a proud symbol of Rochester's first era of growth and prosperity. And all around us, we see the rebirth of our downtown because we stopped turning our back to our river and finally decided to rock our riverway. <laughs> From the new Rock City Skate Park and Erie Harbor, Harbor Promenade to our south, to the reconstruction of our Main Street, Charles Carroll Plaza, and Genesee Brewery to our north, it is clearer now more than ever that we have created a brighter future for Rochester, a new era of growth that we all can believe in. And nothing is more evident of that belief in that growth than the investment that Constellation Brands is announcing today right here in downtown Rochester. Creating a total investment of over $80 million for their headquarters and bringing over 340 employees to the heart of our downtown. While this is a remarkable and transformative investment, I want to ensure you that it will deliver Constellation an equal, incredible return. But most importantly today, I want to say a heartfelt thank you to Rob Sands, who is not able to be here with us today. But Bill, I ask you to give him my thanks. Every city, every community, and every generation needs a champion. In Rochester, every generation that I can remember has had that business person, business people, who have stepped up and turned this city towards a brighter future because of their commitment and their vision 
for our citizens. It was Joseph C. Wilson, Henry Bosch, Jacob Blum, and George Eastman. And today, it's Rob Sands, Constellation Brands, and the Sands family. <laughs> a, a few years ago, uh, we were in a, a meeting, uh, Vinny and others and, and, and Bob, and uh, Rob looked at me and he proposed a question, and I don't think he was prepared for the answer that I gave him. He said, Mayor, how can I help the city? And I said, the best way that you can help the city of Rochester is to move your corporate headquarters to our downtown. Every city that I travel to across this country, their top companies, logos, illuminate their downtown skyline. Why should Rochester be any different? I told him that our city needed him to step up so that other businesses would be willing to do the same. I needed him to take a chance on us, and I am thankful that he and his team and everyone here decided to do just that. Thank you so much, Bill, and thank you. <laughs> Rochester, of course, needed its strongest asset to lead the way, and that is what they are doing. Investing in our downtown in more ways than one, investing in our children with the Sands Family Foundation, and the Education Success Network. And now this investment will change from generation to generation. Constellation, through its leadership and CEO of Bill Newlands, its board and the Sands family are leading the way. And I know that other businesses will follow because you are. So again, I say thank you for your faith in Rochester and thank you for the historic change that you're bringing to our downtown. I want to leave this community with this thought. Throughout our history, Rochester has reinvented itself. First, we was a flower city that boomed due to the Erie Canal and the mills that factories fostered. Then we were the flower city with the W, a city that later became the image capital of the world. And now we are a city of companies rather than a company city. Some might see these changing eras as failures, as decline. But when I look at it, I see something very different. I see our resiliency. I see our community, a community that never quits, a community of people who have never given up, a community of people that never forget where they came from, who have created something new and succeeded because they weren't shaken by the challenges that lied ahead of them. The Rochester that's here today is a Rochester that we can all be proud of. It's a city that I have been proud to lead, and it's a people I will always love and continue to fight for. I thank you again, Constellations, for believing in our city. And I know that no matter what happens, you have and we have changed our city for generations to come, leaving it in a better place than where it started because we worked together. Thank you again. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce a partner that we wouldn't be here without for his investment, of course, in this project and many other projects around our community, our county executive, Adam Fellow. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, lovely, uh, Mayor Warren, uh, for that kind introduction and for those words and for your leadership here in the city of Rochester. What a tremendous day for all of us here in Rochester in Monroe County. Uh, welcome, Governor Hochul. Um, you're absolutely right. We've gone through a lot in the last year and a half, and uh, it has just been uh, really my honor and privilege to work uh, side by side with you as we fight the pandemic and now in your role as governor to work with you to build back Monroe County, build back New York State so we're stronger and better than we've ever been before. And so it's my honor to be here to welcome you to Rochester uh, as our governor. So thank you, Governor Hochul. And I also want to thank uh, Empire State Development, our Finger Lakes Regional Economic Development Council, uh, Bob Duffy for your leadership uh, for our community in the downtown innovation zone. And of course, 
my gratitude to Constellation Brands. Your team, Rob Sands, Bill Newlands, Garth, Tom, Jim, and everyone else who works so incredibly hard to make today possible. By moving your global headquarters to Rochester, Constellation Brands recognizes the benefits of doing business here in Monroe County. And it recognizes the opportunities we offer to innovate, grow, and recruit new talent. This investment reinforces our position as a hub for cutting edge leadership in food and beverage manufacturing and brings new vibrancy to the heart of downtown. This transformative project builds on the momentum of accelerating business investment in Rochester and our county. And Constellation is not alone. They're joining ongoing other new uh, ventures and projects, including the optics, photonics, and imaging company at Sun Density, the remaking of the executive building on West Main Street, the forward-thinking reimagining of our former Xerox building to Innovation Square, which leverages that power of our colleges and universities into a vibrant, collaborative campus. Constellation Brands builds on the downtown innovation zone and the ongoing work to reinvigorate our waterfront through Rock the Riverway and the Aqueduct Reimagined Initiative. This is a tremendous, tremendous win for our economy and it speaks to the caliber of talent that we have in our workforce. Our community has all of the elements we need to thrive economically, socially, and artistically. We have all the elements needed to recover and build back stronger than ever before. Innovation is the backbone of the economy that built Rochester and Monroe County. Today's announcement continues that tradition, and you don't just have to take my word for it. MIT economists Jonathan Gruber and Simon Johnson agree. They studied more than 100 areas in our country that were best positioned to jumpstart our nation's economic turnaround in the innovation economy. The clear winner, the number one in the nation, is Monroe County. So how fitting that we've now seem to have come full circle. Monroe County celebrates its bicentennial this year. And what better way to kick off our next 200 years by welcoming Constellation Brands as the latest in a long line of innovation companies forming the background, the backbone of our economy. The future here looks bright. We have a healthy climate in which new businesses can grow. We have great, great colleges and universities. We have so many resources that make our community a great place to live, work, and raise a family. In short, our community here offers a quality of life second to none, and we are focused on making it even better. So I welcome you, Constellation Brands and the team, to the Aqueduct Building here and look forward to the continued transformation of our city center. And I want to thank you again, Governor, Governor Hochul, for your commitment, your investment in building our economy here in Rochester. And I want to thank Constellation for your leadership, your confidence, and your investment in our community. Thank you very much. And with that, I'd like to invite up the President and CEO of the Greater Rochester Chamber of Commerce, former Lieutenant Governor, my partner here as we build our investments to build Monroe back ever better than before, Bob Duffy. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. I'll get back to you in a second. First of all, uh, I'm going to clean up. I'm trying to uh, be mindful of the Governor's schedule. I'm going to start with Governor Hochul. This is Governor Hochul's first official visit to Rochester. Uh, and to come here with his great news and, and to take time out of her crazy, busy schedule to be here really means the world to all of us, Governor. <laughs> so, yeah. hey, if you know the Governor, she's no stranger, it's been said, she's no stranger to Rochester. She's been here. She spent seven years on the ground across the state. She knows the people, she knows the businesses, she listens, she engages, uh, she is superbly uh, positioned to be a great Governor, and she is from upstate New York. Uh, she, she knows what it's like to grow up in Rochester in this area. She's from Buffalo. She never forgot her roots, and she's been here. So we are, I think, just greatly poised uh, for uh, great success in the future, Governor. But I want to thank you personally for your leadership, your support, making this project happen, and for taking time to be here today and be part of this great celebration. So thank you very much. <laughs> to, to Bill Newlands. Uh, I, Bill, you run a great organization. The, the Constellation team is fantastic. I want to thank you. I want to thank your entire Constellation team we've had a chance to deal with. Uh, I want to thank Rob Sands. That's been said, I think, by the mayor and others already. Rob is my board chair, Joe's board chair. Rob is a friend and a colleague. And, and Rob Sands and the Sands family is fantastic. 
And I think Rob and you and the constellation team, you could have planted a flag anywhere for this headquarters. You could have stayed where you were, gone any, anywhere. You're a global company, you're a Fortune 500 company, you're right here, you're making it here. And I'll tell you folks, uh, check out two years down the road. If you ever know constellation brands, whatever they do, it's world class. This place, this historical building, will be probably on the historic uh, list down the road. It's an absolutely fabulous place. And what Constellation will bring is probably 300 or more people downtown, and you'll see businesses sprout, you'll see a, a huge economic impact throughout the city and region uh, by this commitment here, and they have choices. So, so to really the Rob and the Sands family, to Bill Newlands, the CEO of the Constellation family, I thank you for your, your support, for your faith in Rochester, and I'll tell you what, uh, looking at uh, two years down the road, we're gonna be here celebrating with champagne. Oh, no, I'm sorry, beer, we have beer. Uh, New Year's, <laughs> sorry. But Bill, thank you. I want to I want to thank Mayor Warren for all her leadership on this County Executive Bello. I, I, these two leaders, uh, we could not do it without them. Uh, they made this possible with all the work behind the scenes and, and all the funding and support. Uh, they're making this happen. They deserve a lot of credit for this. I thank them both for their leadership, uh, their support with this, and, and you both deserve great credit along with all our elected officials who are here. Uh, but the two leaders of the city and county, I think, just really made this happen right from the start with this negotiation. So I want to thank you both for your support. Very quick, I want to just really quick, to Joe Stefko, to Vinny Esposito, to Matt Hurlba, to Heidi Zimmermeyer, all the economic development partners in the region, and Rock 2025 partners, I thank them all. Uh, we work as a team. This, this project is about great teamwork and collaboration. It would not happen without that. And I close by, by just pointing this out. Many years ago, a credit union in Rochester, uh, ESL, started by George Eastman, planted their headquarters across the river uh, on the east side of downtown. If you go back to when that headquarters was built, and it's fabulous, and look at what has happened in that area in subsequent years. That seed sprouted a beautiful garden over there, and it keeps on going. It grows, it grows. What Constellation is doing here, you're gonna see it over here as well. To plant this beautiful headquarters here, watch the reverberations economically, uh, not only two years down the road, five, 10, 20, 30 years down the road. Uh, it makes a huge, huge difference. It's gonna inspire co more confidence, and I think the mayor said, the county exec said, Downtown in Rochester is on fire. There's things going on everywhere right now, and this just throws logs on that fire. It is fabulous. So this would not happen without teamwork and collaboration and, and support uh, and really faith in what's happening here. So for all that made it possible, Governor, Bill, our, 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 county, our city and county leaders, everybody, our economic development leaders, I just want to say thank you for making this happen. We'll see you in two years, and this place, they'll knock your socks off when Constellation is done. So without any further ado, I think we're gonna close the program, and uh, Governor, again, Thank you so much uh, for being here, and you have our full support, and thanks for making time, taking time of your schedule to be here to be part of this announcement today. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.